The Great Wall of China doesn't need any introduction. We all know that it has been successfully holding its place in the seven wonders of the world. This wall is the largest man-made structure on Earth. Not only that, it is one of the engineering marvels that stand upright for so many years. The Great Wall of China attracts millions of people each year as one of the most renowned man-made structures in the world. The massive fortresses are engineering marvels that are scattered across northern China. It was originally built to safeguard Chinese land against nomadic tribes, but it was also utilized for tax collection along the Silk Road and to maintain order at the frontier. The Great Wall of China has a long and rich history. It was originally built out of rammed earth, but was soon replaced by millions of people laying bricks. In reality, the early parts of the Great Wall built under the Qin Dynasty were thought to have engaged 70% of the Chinese population. There are certain facts regarding one of the world's greatest wonders that everyone should be aware of to comprehend the wall's construction and antiquity. Having said that, let us learn some interesting facts that make the Great Wall of China special. Number 1. There is a popular belief that the wall was built by Emperor Qin Shi Huang between 259 BC to 210 BC. But according to the research, it was found that the construction started 2,700 years ago in 770 BC. The Chu state built fortifications during this period. Recent findings by archaeologists prove that these fortifications by the Chu state were the oldest constructed parts of the Great Wall of China. The construction ended during the Qing Dynasty in 878 AD. The wall is older than we think. This is just the beginning. Number 2. Construction of the wall was a community service project for imprisoned criminals during the Qin Dynasty. There were no machines available at the time of building, thus everything was done by hand. The construction and maintenance work was done by prisoners. Building the wall was the punishment for crimes like tax evasion. The construction of walls on these places was incredibly difficult for the workmen. Apart from the criminals, soldiers and good Samaritans also helped part in the building of the wall. Number 3. The Great Wall of China was constructed to keep intruders away. But how effective was it? It was designed to protect the Chinese Empire from outside enemies. But a large number of northern nomads were able to pass through this barrier. According to many historians, it was the incursion by the Manchu that led to the downfall of the Ming Dynasty. Number 4. The Great Wall was constructed in one go. It took centuries to build this magnificent structure. The defensive walls that we see today were constructed by several rulers over 23 centuries. The Great Wall was mostly constructed by the Ming Dynasty over a 200-year duration span. The Ming Dynasty extended the wall by constructing new walls. They also joined and renovated the Great Wall of China, previously built by predecessors. Number 5. This may go against your perception, but the Great Wall is not exactly one large continuous wall. Instead, there are a bunch of walls. A defensive network consisting of various walls and forts erected in different historical times, with some portions scattered and others running parallel to each other. The wall doubles or even triples in size in certain areas. This might change your perception of the Great Wall of China. Number 6. In 221 BC, King Zheng of Qin defeated the last of his opponents and united China. Zheng was the first emperor of the dynasty. After the win, he ordered the removal of those walls that separated his dominion among the previous states to establish centralized governance and prevent the rise of feudal lordship. He ordered the construction of additional walls to connect the surviving walls along the empire's northern boundary to safeguard the empire against the Xiongnu tribes from the north. Emperor Qin Shi Huang is commonly regarded as the founder of the Great Wall of China. He was the first to order linking of the walls constructed by previous rulers and thus making it a gigantic structure. Many mythical stories revolve around the beginning of this gigantic construction. One such story about the construction of this Great Wall was that the construction started based on a threat rumor. This story was famous among the Chinese people. After conquering central China and the establishment of the Qin Dynasty in 221 BC, Emperor Qin Shi Huang aspired to solidify his authority 
and rule the kingdom forever. He sent a priest named Lu Sheng on a quest to find a way to immortality. Lu Sheng was unsuccessful in his multiple attempts. Eventually, while returning from the last attempt, he brought back a rumor that Quinn will be overthrown by the northern tribes. This terrified the emperor, and so he immediately ordered to connect the walls and construct the additional ramparts to safeguard the northern frontier. Number 7. Much of this massive wall is yet to be discovered. Portions of this wall are continuously uncovered with the help of new technologies. In 2012, a team working on the Great Wall of China discovered a lost section deep in the Gobi Desert near the Mongolian borders. This discovered wall was around 100 kilometers long. But that is not all. The Great Wall of China is vanishing year after year. Only a few portions of the wall are well maintained, like the battling section. The Great Wall of China that we see today is not the complete structure. This structure has seen centuries and some parts are being eroded due to natural and climatic reasons. But the main destruction was done by the Chinese people. During the proletarian cultural revolution, miles of this magnificent wall were demolished in just 10 years. That is between 1965 and 1975. Civilians as well as the government removed bricks from some parts of this wall and used them in constructing homes, farms and even reservoirs. This recycling of bricks destroyed many sections of the wall, else it would have been in much better shape today. According to UNESCO, one third of the wall has already vanished. Only the structures from the Ming Dynasty are in good condition. Older constructions in areas like in some parts of Mongolia, Gansu and other northwestern regions are rapidly eroding and falling. If this continues, and no measures are taken for their prevention, most of these parts will completely vanish within 30 years. Between 1980 to 1990, many people even plundered and sold the bricks of this Great Wall. In many places, part of the wall were destroyed to build roads and industrial buildings. Until 2006, there was no clear regulation for the protection of this gigantic wall. Despite all of this, the Great Wall of China is the world's longest man-made construction. Just imagine how long is the Great Wall of China? If we laid all the parts of this Great Wall side by side, in a straight line, the distance would be from the North Pole to the South Pole. You'll be amazed to hear that the Great Wall of China stretches more than 21,000 kilometers, which is equivalent to 13,000 miles. Number 8. Generally, when we think of building material used to build this Great Wall, stones, timber or mud would come to our mind. But there was a secret ingredient used by these Chinese people. Any guesses? Well, it was rice. Yes, you heard it right. Rice was a significant component used in the construction of this Great Wall. Chinese rice is often known as sticky rice. It was not only the staple food of Chinese people, but was used as a binding agent instead of gypsum in the construction of this magnificent wall because of its cohesive characteristics. Current researchers have revealed that the amylopectin present in rice helps to bond bricks harder than anything. This explains the reason for the wall's strength and endurance for centuries. Did you know that rice could be used for such things apart from being eaten? Number 9. You'll be amazed to hear that a basic description of this wall is available in Roman historical texts of the 4th century BC. After the Ming Dynasty, this wall became famous among the West. In 1346, Ibn Battuta, the famous explorer, also mentioned this wall in his travelogue. In 1563, a Portuguese writer also mentioned the Great Wall in his book. This structure was something extraordinary for the world but not for the Chinese people. In 1987, the Great Wall of China was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. It is now China's emblem and draws millions of visitors each year. However, it was rarely mentioned in any of the Chinese art. Now it's time for some mythical stories that surrounded the Great Wall of China. Let's start with one of the most interesting ones. The Great Wall of China is famous among the Chinese people as the world's longest cemetery. Don't be scared. Yet no evidence of corpses has been found within the walls. 
over one million laborers, which included prisoners, citizens, and even soldiers took part in building this mammoth project for two and a half thousand years. As we know, during the Qin and Han dynasties, a punishment for the offenders was the construction of the wall. During this long period, around 410,000 workers died performing their tasks. It was rumored that they are buried in the lengthy wall. Thus, it was famous as the longest cemetery. Another surprising and mythical story about the wall was that it was visible from space. This rumor began in the 19th century before anyone had been in space. Contrary to common perception, it is not at all visible from space. In 2003, Yang Liuai, the Chinese astronaut who went on the first Chinese space flight, confirmed that it cannot be seen from space with the naked eye. These were some of the interesting facts and mysteries behind the Great Wall of China. We hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting facts. Click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any other interesting topics. Until next time, keep exploring, fellas.